think this event was quite tokenistic to be honest and she was only talking to the Brexit table for about seven minutes maximum and we really need to get listened to because we didn't get a chance to vote a lot of us and it's our future that's at stake. She didn't really answer any questions and when she did she answered it with riddles and didn't really make a clear concise uh, concept to tell us exactly what's going to happen with Brexit and with devolved government in Northern Ireland. She seemed a little bit dismissive but she was still um, very nice to speak to and she did make some very good points. I don't feel that we were given the best opportunity to be able to ask questions. This is it's supposed to be very casual, but because of the environment, you know, it's noisy, you can't exactly hear the answers that are being given and so it's it wasn't in my opinion the best place. I would have rather it be more formal so that we could we could feel like we're being taken seriously. Theresa May, she engaged, she, she was a bit uh, different to Karen Bradley. When I say different, she wasn't as open as Karen Bradley. So Karen Bradley was a very nice nice person, so was Theresa May. Um, they both came across well. A lot of questions were answered with, um, there's no government, so we can't really help you. And that was kind of frustrating because we had questions prepared and it felt like they were answered, like all the answers were the same. I just wanted to just push that I feel like young people need to have a say and Brexit affects the, the, the future and we are the future. And so I feel like I was just letting her sort of push in the fact I feel like she needs to meet with more young people. It's always a great opportunity to meet a Prime Minister and I guess Secretary of State and have a conversation with them. But I just wish there was a bit more, you know, natural to us.